Hello, this is Synthetic Programming here with another tutorial. This one is on some simple commands that you can use in the command prompt file on your computer. The command prompt file, or CMD, comes with Windows, Ubuntu, Linux, all those operating systems. Now, there are several, several levels of command that you can use on this computer, and I'm only going to go through three. The three I'm going to go through is the tree function, the directory function, and the net users function. So here we go. First thing I'm going to type is help, just so you can get an idea of all the commands that are on this program. Now, some of these have different levels. Now, there's a shutdown here that says allows proper, local, or remote shutdown of a machine. Now, shutdown doesn't just stop at that. Shutdown keeps going. So I could do a command shutdown slash s, shutdown slash i, and each one of these does something different. Continuing down to the bottom, I'm going to type tree. When I type tree, it starts giving me tons and tons of these files that look like they say lc messages. Now, this is because I actually have a lot of files that are part of a program that calls them LC messages. But as you can see, they've changed now and it's gone down to music. So I've got music here, I've got some pictures here. This gives you a tree directory of every single one of your files. Also in the bottom here you can see pictures, iPod photo catch, etc. So now I'm going to go through the directory function. So I'm going to start by typing dir for directory and it gives me a little view of some other folders I can access. From here, I can type something like directory again, dir, and one of the names on this list, I'm going to go with desktop, and it'll show me all the files in that directory. Now, I'm not going to go further into this, but you get the idea. You can keep traveling through your files until you get to a specific file. The final command I'm going to show you today is the net users command. So if I type in net space users, it shows you a list of all the users on the computer. Now here it says administrator, Ethan, my name, and then guest. If I had another account, say Cindy, don't know why I would have an account named Cindy, but you get the idea, there would be another name here that says Cindy. You could also use the command prompt to edit some properties of this, but you have to be on an administrator account to edit other accounts. That's going to conclude it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and please consider visiting our website. It's syntheticprogramming.co.nr, and there we have some free code snippets that you can download, and there are some instructions on how to use them. It's some really great stuff, and we're really trying to get the word out there about our new site. Thanks a bunch, and have a great day.